Well, hello there. I'm going to show you first the bronzer, the blush, the super blush, Whiskers 2.0, the Eartha Shimmer, Peace Eye Shadow, and True Black Eye Shadow. I'm narrating this now because it's easier for me to just do it and then tell you what I'm doing afterwards. I don't want to rush through this process, but I want to show it to you in real time. Right now, I'm taking the number one product in there, catnip, starting at the top left. Everything's in order. Catnip is a very gentle bronzer. It's brown and gold, not orange. And you see where I'm placing it. I'm placing it not above the cheekbone and not below it. I'm putting it in the center and brushing it up into my hairline because I want to build a little bit of a cheekbone. This is the cornerstone of every single makeover for me is just lifting the face. Not above the cheekbone, not below the cheekbone. Also notice that I'm squeezing the brush because I can squeeze it and make it as firm as I want to or if I want to get real, real, real precise, I can squeeze the end of it and make it any kind of brush I want to. Now I'm doing what we call our moon spots. And um, that's the hairline, the chin. And I want you to take that bronzer, the number one product in there, and I want you to just go down your neck because it pulls it all together. All right, so now we're gonna move on to a little bit of blush. The second product on there, the middle top, that's Whiskers Blush. And what that does, and you notice what I'm doing before I tell you what that does, is um, it's, I'm going over exactly what I did with the catnip bronzer, exactly over it, because this is going to create a glowing effect for your face. And you notice how gentle this is. Okay, and I'm going to do is uh, go in there now and put a little bit of that on my eyelids. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the, well, you see this is the brush that comes with the kit. You see one side is slanted, it's sable brush, and I'm going to use it right now to put some of the Eartha Shimmer. Eartha Shimmer. That's the bottom left, number four. Eartha Shimmer. I'm going all the way from the eyelash to the eyebrow, and I'm doing the same thing on the other side. And I always tap off any excess product before I put it to my face because it's a professional product. And once you put these on, they are on until you wash it off. These are long wear products. They're paraben free, talc free, um, and pretty much fragrance free because that's what I'm allergic to. I'm very sensitive, especially my eyes. So now I'm using the Peace Shadow, which is the number five product in the lower middle. And I'm putting that in that spot. You see that kind of area in the inner corner of your eye that goes up to your eyebrow? And that, that's going to give you some dimension. It makes your eyes look a little deep set when you do that. Now I'm just putting it in the crease. I call that the windshield wiper effect, see? There you go. If you just put it in the crease of your eye and then you kind of sew it up on the outer corner. See what I'm doing? There you go. And sewing it up. I'm going to connect the eye soon with the outer upper and lower corners with the color. But right now, I'm just now looking to see what I want to do next because you can use the pencil next or you can use the piece shadow on the bottom. See? Now what that is is ah, wait a minute. That is the black shadow. I'm doing the black shadow first, it looked like. And what that does is in the only in the outer corners, well, outer corners only. Yes, so when you see that, the outer corners only, what it does is just pop the eye out. And now I'm going to use the Baroque smudge pencil. This is what's gonna give you that real smoky eye, but look really pretty. And you notice you can use your fingers because you have a minute to set it and then it's not moving anywhere. This is the most perfect brown and gold. It is so pretty on everybody. And all of these are self-adjusting colors. So they look the same pencil and, and uh, things that are in the kit 
look good on all kinds of different skin tones and skin types. So now you see I'm looking down into the mirror because it allows me to get as close to the lashes as possible. And what that does is just define my eye. Now there's no particular order that you have to do this with. You're just going to make sure that you define your eyes with that pencil. And the piece shadow that's in the kit, the one on the bottom middle, that is the same color in an eyeshadow. So what you can do is smoke and smudge and, ah, yes, the lip gloss. Rich Lip Gloss has been our biggest selling lip gloss for 14 years. We have never had one returned. And that's because it, it's, like putting, um, it's like putting a light under your face. So what I'm doing is just putting that and it just puts a little light up under your face it lights up your face and now you're just seeing a real simple look now I'm going in there and I'm seeing that I have a little bit of um, eyeshadow and whatnot and I'm just gonna clean that up you can do that with your fingers or a sponge but it, what it usually means is that you didn't tap off the brush enough so I wanted to show you you know what that is and of course I'm using the sponge with my uh, foundation. I think I have the best foundation in the world. And I'm just now gilding the lily. I'm taking that shimmer shadow and I'm putting it up under the arches of my brow. And I just realized my brows are looking a little lighter than I like them. So I'm going to use that same smudge pencil, very light handed. And I'm going to define my brows with it. So it does a double duty there. Makes my eyes look defined. Makes my brows look defined. And so here I am with what I consider to be a perfect daytime look. And if I wanted to go out at night, I'd just ramp up the colors and the corners and make it amazing. There you go.